Hello, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I will be doing a reading vlog of the Mortal Instruments series. Um, I am recording this intro after I have uh, done all the reading and have experienced it. And it, it's quite a ride. So I hope you enjoy the video and please consider subscribing. So I have started uh, reading City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I've been wanting to get into the whole Shadowhunter saga for a little bit now. Um, most recently because of the um, newest Cassandra Clare book, um, Chain of Thorns. All the hype around that and it's like... You know, sometimes I get a little bit of FOMO <laughs> when it comes to certain popular books. So I figured, while well, I can't just jump in at the last book in a series, and there's so much that came before that, so let's take a look. I was originally going to read it in chronological order, um, but I decided against it because, one, a lot of people online are saying to read it in publication order because that's the best way to experience it um and then like chronological is like the second best and also i have the libby app now i have a library card and i looked at um clockwork angel and i put that on hold because it's currently not available but it's not going to be available for for another i forget if it was eight or twelve weeks i think twelve I think another book that I was looking at was eight, but regardless, I'm not going to be able to get to that one for a while. And I am very impatient right now <laughs> because like I've been looking at this series, this whole universe of um, the Shadow Hunters, <laughs> I guess. Um, and I've been eager to dive into it. So I have heard some things. <laughs> okay, so... This I don't think is a spoiler. I mean, maybe it is. It has to do with the romance. So if you haven't, um, if you don't want spoilers in regards to the romance for the Mortal Instruments series, then skip this part. I'll have a timestamp or something on the screen so that you know when I stop talking about it. But the thing that I was worried about and like my biggest hesitation was that there is like apparently Jace and Clary their love interests but apparently it's revealed that like they're brother and sister so like that's gross <laughs> um but I did a bit more digging because I was like okay well that depends how is this handle so I figured I'd look into it a little bit more and it turns out that later on it's revealed that they're not actually related <laughs> So, do I still agree with that kind of a plot twist? No. <laughs> That's still not okay. But at least it gets kind of fixed. So, I don't know how bad that's going to get. Like, I don't know how they're going to act while believing that they're brother and sister. I don't know how, like, romantic they're going to get with each other. So, I'm going into the Mortal Instruments series with low expectations because of that. But so far, I think the writing's pretty good. It's nothing amazing yet. Um, the characters, again, pretty good. Kind of mediocre so far. But I'm only on chapter five. I'm with, with City of Bones, the audiobook was um, available right away on Libby. So I borrowed that um, and started listening to it this evening. It's now around 9.30, I think. So I'm on chapter five. So, you know, I'm not very far into it, but so far I really like Simon. <laughs> so far I really like Simon. Um, he's funny and I, I like the banter him and Clary have. So I'm interested to see where that goes. I don't know how big of a role he plays in the Mortal Instruments or if he really plays any role. He does kind of seem like a bit of a mo more minor character because 
he's just a human and he's not seeing what Clary sees and that kind of thing. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little worried about his character because I, I, I like him. He's funny. <laughs> I, I couldn't help but laugh when Clary and Simon are talking and <laughs> And Clary asks Simon if he's gay or something, and he says, <laughs> "And he says, if I was, I'd dress a lot better." <laughs> I found that really funny, <laughs> and it's just probably just my type of humor mixed with being a little bit tired because I didn't sleep very well last night, and. Uh, I should probably get to bed soon. <laughs> the next chapter is gonna take like almost an hour for the narrator to like read it. The narrator's really good, by the way. I really like I really like her and how she's been doing it. I mean, mind you, I don't listen to many audiobooks. Usually if I'm like listening to a book, it's because it's in my Google Play books and it has the read aloud feature, so it's just like the the um, robotic synthesized voice um, that you get with your Google uh, home device or whatever if you have one of those. I don't want to say like the name of it because I don't want to trigger anybody's <laughs> thing. But um, yeah, so that's my thoughts so far. I have three weeks to listen to the whole audiobook. The audiobook is only about 14 hours, I think. And I'm knocked out about an hour of it already, so that's good. <laughs> Even if I don't like the Mortal Instruments, I still want to make it through it. Like, I want to kind of push through because I want to know what happens. I mean, maybe if it gets to be too um, annoying <laughs> and frustrating, maybe I'll just look up spoilers for it. Um, we'll have to see. And I have a list. <laughs> I have a list in my phone of all of the, well, all of the main Shadowhunter books. Um, in both chronological order and in publication order, so I know what book I'm going to need next. So, anyways, this was a very long segment, <laughs> and I got distracted a lot. But I have a lot of thoughts because I just finished my kind of reading slash listening session of the book for the night in case uh it's a while <laughs> um i'm starting the book today today's date is march 3rd so that's when i'm starting it i don't know when i'm gonna finish it um but yeah it'll be before those three weeks are up that's for sure but i will see you guys when i read more so it's the next night. I'm just getting ready for bed, but uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of a check-in. I'm about 30-31-ish percent of the way through now, um, and I'm not finding myself a big fan of the characters. Jace is kind of annoying. Sometimes he's... sometimes he's cool. Sometimes he's funny or whatever. And then other times he's just an asshole, so... Eh, Clary, I don't, I don't really know what to think of Clary. I know she's about 15, almost 16-ish, but even then she seems a little bit immature. But, well, no, actually, now that I say that out loud, I, I take it back. I think it fits for that kind of age group. Um... I think I probably just notice it a bit more because I'm 26 reading this for the first time. And one thing I really liked is that, like, any... I've noticed that was this with Christianity and with any religion that's been brought up so far in the book is that it's just talked about respectfully. Um, it's not mocked. Nothing is mocked here. They're just stating fact that, like, yeah, this is part of what the Bible says. This is part of... Um, Indian culture, this is, you know, that kind of thing. And I like that. I like to see a variety. It's it's nice. It's refreshing. Because especially with Christianity, a lot of books or other types of entertainment will just mock it. And that gets frustrating. So 
it's it's nice, especially since especially considering the time that it came out. That's really refreshing. I really like that. So where I'm at in the book right now, I guess I don't want to talk about it too much because I did want to keep this relatively spoiler free, if at all possible. Yeah, I guess I'm far enough in, I think I need to um, be a little bit more careful about what I say as far as the plot goes. Oh, before I go, there was a plot twist that kind of came up um, in regards to the villain. Well, kind of. That's all I'll say. <laughs> um, and that one genuinely surprised me. And maybe it shouldn't have. But I'm pretty easily surprised when it comes to plot twists. It has to be, like, excruciatingly obvious for me to guess it. So if I guess it, you know it's bad. <laughs> I don't pick up on things very easily when it comes to stuff like that. Which is why I like books with twists and turns because I'm like always surprised it's a great time <laughs> um so yeah I'm really intrigued it's getting a bit more intense and um I can definitely see the hype but anyways um I will go now and update you later okay so it's been a while since I um updated this I think but so I don't think I've mentioned anything since I finished City of Bones. But I finished it. It was, it was okay. The twist at the end, even though I know it kind of gets Uno reversed later. Um, the twist at the end, you know, kind of, ew. And so I, right after I finished uh, reading it, I watched a thing on YouTube um, of this person. They were bring they were breaking down the plot of City of Ashes. I keep wanting to say City of Angels, but City of Fallen Angels is another book in this series, so I gotta make sure I don't get the two mixed up. Um, and I watched it, <laughs> and. My gosh, am I so glad that I chose not to read that because, <laughs> dear lord, I would have had an aneurysm, I think. <laughs> also, Simon. It seems like Simon was just butchered as a character. I'm worried going into book three. He was so precious in the first book. I He was like... I think my favorite character in the first book. And I mean, like, that's not saying much because the characters are kind of flat. So right now, um, I'm not reading City of Glass yet because I have about three weeks to wait, I think, before I can get my hands on a copy from Libby. But yeah, so I, I did on Goodreads mark... Um, City of Ashes as red. Now, here's the reason. <laughs> the main reason is because one, well, this isn't the main reason, but one of the reasons, I mean, is that I know what happens. I know everything that happens now. I just didn't read the words. Now, normally, I would not mark a book as red because of that. I, I wouldn't do that. But the other reason <laughs> is because I have this thing... <laughs> Where it's like, I need to do things, like, in order. So if I if I have on my read list on Goodreads that I read just the first and third book and then, you know, go from there, it's going to bother me. <laughs> because I still know what happens in the second. So it's just like... <laughs> and I, I gave it a two-star rating because... From everything that I know of that book, it's, you know, whatever. If I had read it myself, it probably would have been a one star. But because I didn't read it myself, I decided to give the grace and give it the extra one. But, yeah. So, um, I'm concerned about City of Glass, but I am looking forward to getting that one done <laughs> and out of the way. 
so that I can get to Clockwork Angel because I've heard I've heard from what I know about the Shadow Hunter Chronicles is that Mortal Instruments is kind of me, right? The Infernal Devices is like a fan favorite. Um well, it's like I've I've heard it's like the best in the whole saga. Either that one or the Dark Art Devices. I I really kind of wish I could have started with Clockwork Angel, but because of how long it was going to be to wait for it. I think it's 12 weeks still that I'm expected to wait. So right now, what I'm reading is I read Shadow and Bone. That one got available to me early. Um, and then Siege and Storm was available right away. So I picked that one up. Um, so I'm reading those in the meantime while I'm waiting for City of Glass to become available. But yeah, so that's going to be kind of on hold for now, unfortunately. That's the only problem with doing books from the library is that, you know, sometimes you have to wait. And I was just going to, I think I said at the beginning that I was just going to do like one of the books at a time. But I think what I'll do is I will end this vlog after I finish reading um, City of Glass. And then I'll, because I'm reading these in publication order, I think I'm, I don't know if I mentioned that already or not. It's been a while. It's been a while. Um, but so I'm going to do that and then, um, and then start the next one when I'm, when I start Clockwork Angel and then. Um, apparently in publication order, you know, like you bounce kind of back and forth between the Infernal Devices and Mortal Instruments until Mortal Instruments wraps up and then... So, yeah, that is where I'm at right now. So I will update this when I start reading City of Glass. And that one's another audiobook. Kind of hoping it's a different narrator, though, because even though I said I liked the narrator at first... As the book went on and she was narrating it, I kind of got just annoyed because a lot of the male voices that she was trying to do sounded so similar. <laughs> it was hard for me to remember who was talking. So it was a little annoying. I, I'll have to check to see if it's the same narrator. So I got City of Glass a bit early on... Uh, Libby so I've been listening to the audiobook of that and yes I it's March <laughs> and we still have our Christmas stuff up I had surgery don't judge <laughs> but um so I'm about 10% of the way through and <laughs> I was listening to it last night I had started it a couple of days ago and then listened to some more of it last night I don't want to get into it too much and like say what it is exactly because I don't want there to be spoilers. I accidentally, like without thinking about it, um, posted about it on my Instagram stories. So if you haven't read it and that was kind of, that kind of spoiled that part of the story for you, um, I apologize <laughs> you've been wanting to read it. Um, but there's a, yeah, there's a Mean Girls reference. There. <laughs> and I laughed so hard. I, I w okay, here's the thing. I have a couple of older um, Samsung tablets. And one we use for my daughter's stuff. Oops. Are we good now? I think we're good. Okay. So as I was saying, one of them we use for my daughter's um, stuff like her she has a couple of games on there and then um, she listens to lullabies on it at night and um, those those two games take up the majority of space on there because they're so old because I think they originally came out in 2017 so they're pretty old um, unfortunately <laughs> as far as technology goes anyways and um, and then another one we got just like the same one um 
and that one wasn't being used at all. And so I decided, okay, I'm going to try <laughs> and get Libby on there because then I can like show you guys where I'm at in the book and, you know, make this vlog a little bit better and future vlogs, reading vlogs a little bit better quality. Um, but it didn't work. The, the other tablet that I was wanting to use, um, it's really slow. Both of them have their issues of, like I said, the one that my daughter's using has storage space issues. Um, and then the other one that I was trying to use is really slow. I even tried vac factory resetting it and it didn't work. So unfortunately <laughs> you won't be able to get my like raw reactions to it. Um, and audio and ebook is the best way for me to go about library books. Um, because of some safety concerns at my local library. So, um, I don't want to go there in person very often. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately this is what we got, but yeah, I, <laughs> I laughed and I replayed that part of the book. <laughs> As you can tell, I still haven't had a very good setup <laughs> for recording, but, um, what was I saying? Oh, right. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't think that I heard it right. So I had to go back <laughs> and it was, uh, it was really funny. So I am going to listen to some more a bit later today. Um, I don't know. I don't know how much more I'm going to end up listening to or what I'm going to check in next because I don't want to check in like every chapter, <laughs> but also, I mean, this vlog's already getting kind of long anyway, so I don't know. We will see. So I just woke up recently, so don't mind me, but I am, um, I got about halfway through and yikes. <laughs> I, the whole thing with Jason Clary, mm. I, okay, I'm going to get into spoilers a bit. I was wanting to keep this spoiler free, but I think that's a little bit hard with a reading vlog. So, um, I'll put something up on the screen so that, you know, I'm sorry, my cat is playing with a fish. <laughs> um, so you'll know when you can watch again. So the thing with Jason Clary is that like Jace told Clary in book two that he was not interested in a romantic relationship for obvious reasons. And then in this book, you find out that he was lying and that he actually wanted to be with him. And mm, no. No, both of these just suck. I don't like them. And here's the thing. I am a big, like, character reader. And so if I don't like the characters, then I'm not... I'm not gonna keep going. Like, there, there's a difference between a unlikable character and just a character that sucks. <laughs> There's a difference. And also, Simon. Poor freaking Simon, man. He's like... <laughs> I feel kind of motherly about him. Because <laughs> he's, he's... He's too precious for this world and for this BS that's been going on. So I just want to protect him at all costs, man. Um, Magnus is funny. <laughs> I like... I, but those are the only two characters that I like. So I might read the Bane Chronicles at some point. I'm not going to prioritize it or anything, though. I think it comes like, I don't, I don't remember where it comes chronologically, probably after the last hours, but I don't know. So yeah, I might read that at some point because I'm not getting as much of his character as I wanted. Um, and I'll have to look into uh, 
the Shadow Hunter Academy because I think at least one of those stories, because it's the novella bind up, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments because I don't remember. I mean, I can easily find that out myself too, but still, comments are appreciated. Um, but I might read that if that's the case as well because, like I said, I really like Simon. Um, but yeah, so. Simon, like I was saying before, I almost forgot what I was going to say. He, at one point, he blames himself for Clary wanting to be with Jace instead of him. Like, he, I forget exactly the words used, but basically he feels like, I'm sorry, my cat just jumped up, um, that he's not good enough or something along those lines. I don't I don't remember exactly, but it was something to that effect. And it's just like he is the exact opposite of the problem. Clary is 100% the problem. <laughs> like because normally in that kind of a situation, people would be disgusted and appalled and be like, "No, we are not continuing regardless of how I feel." No. <laughs> I don't understand those two. And honestly, I was talking to um, my friend on, on Twitter about this as well. They're like, I don't understand how this is the series that launched Cassandra Clare's career. I don't understand. Um, how, how did she manage that? Because... Ugh, I... Mm, no. Um, but I'm still going to continue with the Shadowhunter Chronicles because I'm still really interested in the world. Um, and I know that the other series in the whole <laughs> universe is better. <laughs> Basically, every other one <laughs> is better. Uh, or so I've heard. So there's that. Um, I am having a hard time, though, finding... I'd prefer to watch spoiler videos on the rest of the Mortal Instruments series. Um, there's one channel. They have like only like 25 subscribers, I think. Um, but I I really liked their breakdown of City of Ashes. So um, I will link their channel below because I think they deserve more credit. They put in a lot of effort into their videos and you can tell that they really like what they do. So definitely check them out. Um, and if you want to know the complete insanity that they, <laughs> these books have been so far, they haven't uploaded in about three months though. Um, I'm hoping that they will do the rest of the mortal instruments and like maybe even the rest of the shadow hunter series. I don't know. Um, I'm hoping they will because they, they, they make good content. I like, them. anyway, so I'm having a hard time finding spoilers for the rest of the series. So I might have to just like read some reviews, but like, I want to get the, the whole point of reading or watching spoilers for these, for the rest of the mortal instruments is so that I can know more about the world and what happens within it and not necessarily um the characters like Clary and Jace etc not necessarily them and I didn't like Isabel either <laughs> because I know that in book two she said that she would do the same thing that Clary and Jace do if she had to I was like no <laughs> so she's just as bad and plus she's just snobby and annoying and I'm just ugh know and I know everything that happens with um Sebastian and all that too and I was just like you know what I just I really didn't want to read all that I, I didn't want to waste my time on it because I know it's a subpar series anyway so yeah so I have DNF'd City of Glass and the rest of the Mortal Instruments um but yeah so I have a while to wait until um Clockwork Angel, <laughs> gotta remember the right order, um, becomes available at my library. So it says 12 weeks and it's said that for a while and I've been sixth in line. It's always a hard word, sixth 
<laughs> um, but I, I've been stuck there for a while. So I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to actually get the chance to read it. So, yeah. Um, I picked up a couple of romances, though. Uh, I might review those at some point. But, yeah. And I'm not sure if I'm going to review the Shadow and Bone books, either. I might. I might do a video on those. I'll probably do them both together because they kind of blurred for me. Because they're not really that memorable. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wish I could watch the show, but my Netflix is being weird because they borrow off my dad's. So I don't know. It It's being weird. It let me back on for a while. I started watching the series again, the Shadow and Bone series, uh, to be clear. <laughs> um, and now it's not working. So I don't know. But we shall see. But anyways, that is it for this reading vlog. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.